Hello, welcome to my studio. I'm Tim Packer. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different um, than my usual. Most of my videos are uh, how to's and instructionals about what it takes uh, to have a successful career as an artist. Um, this one's going to be about someone else, and it actually might, in fact, be one of the most important videos that I've ever made. Um, those of you who follow my posts, you know that I was very excited last week because I got to meet one of my kind of idols, heroes, whatever you want to call him, Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, and since then, I've actually got a lot of feedback from friends and family and also uh, people online, like just who is this Gary Vaynerchuk guy and why were you so excited to meet him? Um, and it got me thinking about that. And it's kind of like, you know, why was I so excited to meet him? Um, I literally have never been that excited before in my life. I mean, I, I describe myself as giddy as a 12 year old girl and I actually was. Um, but I've been thinking a lot about why is that? I mean, I've met some very, very famous and important people in my life. You know, I, I was at the uh, National Bat or the World Basketball Championships. I was on the elevator as part of the security for the entire U.S. Dream Team. You know, Shaquille O'Neal, Michael Jordan. Uh, I knew they were great guys, but I wasn't really impressed. I met Nelson Mandela, for God's sake. He changed the world. Um, and I was not as nervous or excited to meet Nelson Mandela as I was to meet Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, and I've been thinking a lot about that and I was watching some of the videos, some of the videos this morning and I realized why. At least 50% of the time when people come up to Gary and introduce themselves to him, it starts with, Gary, you changed my life. Um, and I realized that's why I was so excited because he changed my life. Uh, Nelson Mandela may have changed the world, but he didn't change my life. Uh, and Gary's done that not only for me, but for thousands of other people. Um, so I'm going to spend this video to tell you who is Gary Vaynerchuk, why you should watch him, and then also what's up with all these new t-shirts that I've been wearing. People are commenting on that as well. So Gary Vaynerchuk, basically put plain and simple, he's a business guy. He's an entrepreneur. He took his family's uh, wine business back in the early 2000s from a $3 million a year business to a $30 million a year business. Uh, he basically, his main thing is before you can sell somebody anything, you have to get their attention. That's basically it. And he is probably the world's foremost leader in how to get people's attention in the digital age. So he took his family's company to $30 million through the use of internet marketing, through the, one of the very first uh, e-commerce wine stores in the, in the U.S., through buying up Google AdWords, um, through a YouTube channel that had a subscribership of hundreds of thousands. Uh, then he started VaynerMedia about eight or nine years ago, started with his brother and four or five friends. It's now a $100 million a year business. He's got over 700 employees, offices around the world, um, and he puts out video content every single day. Um, and so that's who he is. Uh, and let me talk a little bit about how I got to be introduced to him and how it's changed my life. So my why, any of you who, uh, if you haven't seen Simon Sinek and his talk about start with why, it's a really, really great talk. It was one of the most watched TED Talks in the history of the TED Talks. And his whole premise is before you decide what you want to do with your life, start with why. Um, and I realized that my why, when I quit the police force to paint full time, um, my why was I want to get up and paint every day more than anything else in my life. That's what I want to spend my life doing. Um, and then the how, well, I guess the only way I can do that is if I win the lottery um, or if I can create a successful business around my art. And so that's what I worked at doing. And for the first 15 years after I left the police force, my why was all about just, again, trying to drive the um, success of my business to the point where um, I knew I would be secure and how much I was making that I'd be able to keep doing this for the rest of my life. And things have progressed to a state that, you know, is way beyond my wildest dreams. But my why kind of changed about two years ago. I was at, a, at an opening of one of my shows at a gallery in Yorkville in Toronto, and it was just like, over the top. It was in my dreams when I was a kid about what a gallery opening would be like for a successful artist. The place was packed. There was waiters walking around with trays of wine. Um, the people were buying paintings left, right, and center. It was, it was like, it, it was my dream. Um, and I, and I just realized too, that like, I've made it. I've, this is, this was the dream and I'm living it. And what was funny is what happened afterwards is that there was a brief feeling of elation and then there was a feeling, it wasn't quite guilt, um, but it was, I had this overwhelming feeling that, you know, I've 
done that thing, which, you know, everybody strives to do, which is to live your dream um, and do what you love. And it didn't just happen by accident. I spent my life studying the careers of successful artists. I know a lot of successful artists. So there was very specific things that I did, a lot of hard work, but a lot of smart work to actually allow that to happen for me. And I realized that knowledge that I had um, could help other people achieve their dreams. Uh, so at, in that moment, my why kind of switched from just building my success to as high as it could be to helping other artists, empowering other artists uh, to try and achieve their dream. So that was, that was it. That was my new kind of purpose in life. And I realized that now with all this technology and everything else, I could put out videos on YouTube um, and have them broadcast to a huge audience and impart all this knowledge that I have. So I actually, the, the week after the show, I went down to Vistec in Toronto, the huge camera store, dropped about 25 grand on video equipment, um, came back home and took all these courses on making videos and sound editing, video editing. Um, my son Cameron graduated school and worked full time, started working full time for me. It's okay, now we're gonna start producing these videos. And we produced a bunch of videos um, we put them up on my YouTube channel, uh, and I was just waiting for to have this huge impact. Um, and what happened was nothing. Uh, I had this great content up there, and nobody was watching it. Actually, over the course of several months, the odd person would watch it, and the comments that I got back were, were incredible. It's like, okay, this stuff re was really, really valuable for people who had the same dream that I did. Um, but the problem was reaching people. How do, how do I get people to actually watch it? And it was around this time, it was last March, that I discovered Gary Vaynerchuk. And I saw him on an interview. It was an old interview um, with Chase Jarvis from Creative Live. And he started talking, he was talking about internet marketing, the power of the internet. Um, and he said a few things that just really, really rankled. The one was that before you can tell anyone how good your product is or, or how good your service is or sell them anything, you first of all had to get their attention. Um, and that got my attention because I thought, okay, I'm trying to give away this content and I can't give it away because I can't get their attention. So that week, actually, my wife and I were uh, going down to Utah on a ski vacation. And over the course of that week, I read his books. I, I watched all his videos. Um, I had my, another aha moment. Um, when, when it comes to social marketing, a lot of people say, I don't have time to answer questions or comments. And I had actually said to Cameron when he started my Instagram and other accounts, like, don't bother me with people's comments or questions. I don't have time for that. I'm putting, I'm doing enough. I'm putting this great content out there. That should be enough and don't bother me with them. And very early on in Gary's book, I think it was Jab, 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 Right Hook, you know, he says a lot of people say that to him and his response is, you know, you mean to tell me that someone has taken the time out of their day to tell you how much they like what you're doing and appreciate what you're doing and you don't have time to say thank you, you arrogant. I won't say what he said, but that just, I was reading and I thought, oh my God, that's me. That's who I am. Uh, and I immediately made the commitment that that's gonna change. So I actually spent my vacation going back and answering every single comment on Instagram, every single comment on Facebook, and a funny thing happened. It's like you, the word synchronicity is like when the world gets in lockstep with you. Um, during the course of that week, and it turned out it happened before that week too, but I didn't know enough about Instagram to know it, a couple of my posts had been reposted on other art sites with huge audiences, and they got huge response, and actually my viewership, my subscribers on YouTube went from 100 to 1,000, or sorry, not YouTube, on Instagram, from 100 to 1,000 literally overnight. Um, and again, for me, I'm a big believer in signs, and that was a sign that, okay, this is, this is what I should be doing. And when I came back, I came back from that trip kind of totally excited and had, I, like I get it now, I know how I'm gonna approach this social media stuff to get my message out there. And over the course of the, the last 10 months since then, I've just put into practice all of the things that he preaches. Um, and be, again, the, and the motivator behind this was I wanna get this information out that I have to help other people kind of achieve their dreams the way I have done mine. Well, in 11 months, my total followers have grown from less than 400 on the four platforms to 20, over 23,000 um, in just 10 months. Uh, so in my YouTube, my YouTube channel, which did have 30 subscribers, now has 600, and it's growing every day. 
Uh, but the unexpected benefit that happened with all this exposure is also the sales have gone through the roof. So I was two years ago in 10 or 12 galleries and most of my earnings were through uh, gallery sales. Last year, our total sales direct to client was, was more than the total of all of the sales from the galleries. Uh, so that has made a huge impact, not only in my earnings, but also in the way I'm running my business. We, we've now cut down to three galleries. I just had a painting yesterday sold on LinkedIn to a LinkedIn uh, follower. It, it has just been absolutely amazing. And for those of you who are artists who are looking for a way to sell your work, I mean, the world is changing so quickly. It used to be there were gatekeepers, the owners of galleries, jurors who let you into shows, whatever. There's no gatekeepers anymore. Um, the world is out there and it's all accessible through your telephone, through these various social media, uh, social media platforms. Um, so that's how it kind of changed my life. Um, but I also have to say, like, who is Gary Vaynerchuk? This probably describes who is Gary Vaynerchuk better than anything. When I got back from that um, trip in Utah, and I knew that this was going to be a game changer for me, um, I actually, at the end of one of his books, Crush It, he says, here's my email, let me know what you think. So I got home, and I'm, I go in the computer, and I'm, set, I'm typing up an email, and my wife Diane walks in and says, like, what are you doing? I said, I'm emailing Gary Vaynerchuk. And she's like, you're what? I said, I'm emailing Gary Vaynerchuk to tell him how much I appreciate the content, to thank him, and also I actually said in this email, I predict this is gonna change my life. Um, and my wife gave me that look that uh, only husbands know so well, that look that says, I married an idiot. Um, and she said to me, so this is the guy, he now, he runs a hundred million dollar a year business, he's had five best-selling books, he's in demand all over the world, he's kind of, you, you know, you say he's the hardest working, busiest guy in the world, and you're just going to email him out of the blue uh, to tell him how much you appreciated his book. And I said, yes, I am. She said, like, okay, well, go ahead. Uh, so it was Easter Sunday. I emailed him, just, a, again, just basically a thank you, uh, saying this was going to change my life, and just wanted to let him know I appreciate what he did. I got a response 20 minutes later. Uh, said, Tim, I'm so happy to hear this story. This is my oxygen. This is why I do this. Please keep me informed of how things are going. Um, and then later last summer, I had a, a post go viral on LinkedIn. So I emailed him again, Gary, it's the artist from up in Canada. You'll never guess what happened. Uh, told him the story. Anyways, I was ended up being featured in his newsletter, the Hustler's Digest, which, which is amazing. And that also helped kind of add further kind of followers to me. Um, but anyways, that's, that's who Gary Vaynerchuk is. So if you're an artist, um, if you're, or if you're any sort of entrepreneur, um, I really encourage you to read his books, uh, but also to, to watch his content. He gives it all away for free. There's literally hundreds of hours of him talking about business and success on there. And if you're an artist, anytime he says the word entrepreneur, you can just put artist in there because all of the same stuff applies. Um, and I, I look back and it's like so many of the things that I did right that I didn't know I was doing right, they're the things that he preaches to do. And my very first video on YouTube was it's not about talent, it's all about hard work. And that's also one of the things that he preaches. So um, that's who Gary Vaynerchuk is. Um, he changes people's lives. I really encourage you to follow him because he might change yours. I do just have to give you a warning, especially for those of you who are uh, of an older generation and easily offended. He sometimes uses what he refers to as salty language, so he will drop the odd F-bomb. Uh, but as I said to a group that I spoke to the other night, if you could hear Leonardo da Vinci talk about his art and it turned out he swore like a trooper, I think I'd watch him as well, and so I encourage you to. Um, and finally, why am I wearing these t-shirts? These are the Gary Vaynerchuk t-shirts. Um, when he announced that he was coming up with a shop, I bought a lot of them just because Diane's always giving me heck about the horrible shirts that I wear when I paint. And I thought, well, these have powerful messages on it. I want to I wanna kind of wear that. It helps inspire me. Um, and, and also, um, I remember how much it meant to me when he returned that email uh, and got back to me personally. And now, because everything has exploded so much on social media, for me, I'm spending probably two to three hours a day responding to comments, questions, emails on social media. And I just never want to forget how much it meant to me that he responded to me. And this helps kind of reaffirm that that's what I'm going to do for you as well, for those of you that comment. So uh, anyways, 
That's who Gary Vaynerchuk is. That's why I'm wearing his t-shirts. As always, I thank you for your time, and I will see you next time.